Are you currently looking for courses to take on Udemy and there's so many out there? If that's the case, this is the perfect video for you, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to go through some of my top Udemy web development courses that I would recommend to you guys and if you don't know that I've done a video like this last year in 2020 and this year we're doing it again so I am going to set my computer over here so let's pull up the screen share so the first thing that I want to talk about is the complete web development bootcamp courses and I would highly recommend Call Steel's web development bootcamp, Angela Yu's complete web development bootcamp, and Andre's the complete web developer zero to mastery. They are my top high rated courses. I'm definitely a huge fan of Coastal's course and he's always updating the course as often as possible. It comes into different um, languages as caption, which is also important in my opinions. If you want more details about that, you can go ahead and check out some of my comparison videos on that part. The second one is from Angela Yu. Again, this is another really good course and she did update it pretty recently as you can see. One thing that I do feel like it's worth mentioning is that Angela Yu's complete 2021 web development bootcamp does include React, MongoDB, and Node.js which is not included previously in Cold Steel's Web Developers Bootcamp. He does talk about Node.js, but he definitely does not have framework in this course. Um, the price is very similar for these two courses. The other course that I want to talk about is what you guys all recommended or at least request me to give a review on this course is the Complete Web Developer in 2021 Zero to Mastery by Andre and he did a really good job. I've looked at the course materials really closely and I try to comparing all these three different complete web de developer bootcamp all together. It's slightly more updated than Angela Yu's course. And I really like the fact that in his course, he talks about most of the important parts about GitHub and also some of the open source projects. Um, this was interesting to me because a lot of the web development bootcamp courses does not even include that. A fun thing that he also include is a day in the life of a developer, which is super interesting and I would highly recommend you to check out some of my vlog videos if you are curious about what is a day like to be a web developer or a software developer. And I would say that these three classes are both very good and very solid. And if you want to go through, you know, a comparison between Coastal and Angela Yu's courses, make sure that you check out this spin-off video about that. Now, when it comes to learning and improving in CSS, especially going in depth on learning more advanced CSS, I would definitely highly recommend Jonah's classes. It's been helping me so much in my career. Okay, so let's dive into this course called Advanced CSS and SAS Flexbox Grid Animation and More by Jonas. This is a course that I mentioned previously last year. I purchased this course back in 2018. This has been helping me so much in my career. No jokes, it goes through a lot of the more advanced CSS topics and also it comes with very specific projects and step by step how you can actually implement these beautiful designs into your website or your projects. And when it comes to people who are looking for improving CSS, um, a lot of them are either getting you know, into front end or thinking about freelancing because freelancers does need a lot more higher skills on CSS to be able to make things really pretty for the client. The next one that we're gonna look into is this course that I stumbled across. I purchased this course called Complete Web and Mobile Designer in 2021, UI, UX, and Figma and more. So this is a course that really helps you to master web design. And this is designed for someone who actually are interested in learning more about design. If you do want to 
know how to talk to client and understand the UX and UI aspect of web development and web design, this is a great course. It also includes how it teaches you different tools that you can use to create these mockups. Um, especially these are very popular tools that we're using in the industry like Sketch and also Figma. When it comes to just developer basic courses, I would highly recommend the same course called Git a web developer job mastering the modern workflow this is a great course and it's also a course that i touched base on last review that i had back in 2020 this course is great because it teaches you not only just the gig version control but also in depth about node.js and npm package and webpack and all of that good stuff. So I would say that if you want to build something from scratch and you wanted to understand everything, the whole development process, this would be a great course to go really in depth into that particular topic. Speaking of gig version control, this month, Colstill actually released his new course called the Gig and GitHub Bootcamp. So this is the ultimate course for Git version control system. This really dive deep into every single topics and every single possible Git version control instances and scenarios that I came across as a developer. And also, I highly, highly recommend this course called the Basic HTML CSS by Janus. And I also think this course is absolutely necessary if you are starting from scratch and you know zero about HTML and CSS. So this is a course um, also taught by Janus and it was updated in October 2020. It's pretty recent, I would say. I definitely took this course in the past a while, a while ago. And this course is very basic, so it's great for someone who's just starting out and needed more guidance on HTML and CSS and just wanted to build a website with HTML and CSS. So I think it's cool that he talks about, you know, search engine optimization and it's a really crucial topic for you to really understand if you are learning the most basic about HTML and CSS. Obviously, you can always get free resources from FreeCodeCam to learn the basic fundamentals about HTML and CSS, but I think this course is great just to give you so much in-depth understanding about HTML and CSS. So in terms of leveling up on your own and you are already a developer, I would say that the next thing that is more reasonable to do is probably learning React Native or even Flutter and Dart and looking into more mobile development. So these courses I would highly recommend for someone who are looking to get into the mobile world and trying to create and build out hybrid mobile apps. So I would recommend this course because when I was learning React Native with a actual React Native developer, I saw the way that he actually building mobile app and it seems like the material that this course was covering is very close to how he will build up a mobile app. It is a great course in terms of the materials and what this course is covering. The next course that I want to talk about is the Complete 2021 Flutter Development Bootcamp with Dart. So Dart is the coding language for Flutter and it was created by Google. As we all know that Dr. Angela Yu is an amazing instructor and she also has a lot of great reviews on this course. It was very recently updated on top of web development this would be a really good course to take and it's definitely worth your time and money for it and i don't want to give too in depth about these courses because i wanted to focus more on web development but if you are interested in mobile development these are great courses for you to learn in terms of um, just as a web developer, mostly using JavaScript for the front end, I would say that it is crucial at this point to learn or acknowledge about TypeScript. Say that TypeScript is HypeScript because it's so popular right now. 
So this course is the TypeScript, the Complete Developer's Guide 2020. And this course is created by Stephen Grinder. Stephen Grinder is a great instructor. He is really good at explaining complex concepts. I've taken a few of his courses in the past. I really like the fact that he's not only talking about the syntax on TypeScript, but he also diving more into the design patterns with TypeScript. One of the reasons why applications were built with TypeScript instead of JavaScript. Right? I also highly recommend this course called Complete Junior to Senior Web Developer Roadmap. As you can see, there's a high rating and also um, it's very recently updated. Actually, it has been this month during the time that I recorded the video. And this is a great course because I can tell that this course touch up on a lot of the topics that as a junior developer that my face and it will just help you to really level up your work experience this would just definitely help you with um, advancing in your career if you are currently have not taken any Udemy courses and you're just looking for a course. If you are curious about what are some of my top picks from last year, make sure that you check out this video about Udemy courses review that are very similar to this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.